Welcome to the Garden of Odin. Let me show you what I messed up. I left the log splitter down at the bottom of the field because I, um, it's August, but the weather hasn't been too bad. So I was starting to split up a fallen oak tree. And I left this down at the end of the field and two nights ago we got a deluge. It was probably five inches of rain. I actually haven't checked. But the water got up probably to here. Actually, I think, it, I think it got up to here because that rust is new. And there were limbs and debris up in here. I pulled it out yesterday, brought it up here to the shop. There's water in the gas. There's rust inside the gas cap. There's mud inside where the filter was. And the engine is seized up. So I can't turn that. I went ahead and took off the pull, car, pull cord. You can see, I don't know if you can see, there's dirt in there. So much as I hate to, I mean, I absolutely hate messing with engines. So I'm going to take that off, the coupler to the hydraulic uh, reservoir. I'm going to take the engine off the mount. And I don't know if I can even salvage this engine, unfortunately. I knew on Thursday morning when I saw how high the water was and over the road and know the flow pattern through the fields here, I knew this would have been underwater. I was actually surprised it didn't get washed away. I think it's just because so, it's so heavy and there's low flow there. But there had to have been a lot of water back there. Okay, that was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. The, first of all, the hydraulic fluid is in a closed system. So this is the drive shaft that comes off the engine that drives something there that pressurizes the hydraulic fluid. I don't know how it works for sure, but anyway, it's not leaking out. The reservoir is in the axle, or is above the axle, and I took the cap off. It, was, it came off almost, it was no more than finger tight, actually. So there may be water down in there. So at the end of it, I'll probably take that filter off and change out the hydraulic fluid as well. Anyway, so that step was easy. Now let me move on to inspecting the engine now that it's off of the um, log splitter. All right, this poor little engine is so seized up. I can't turn the shaft. And I can't pull that to get it out. Uh, I got it apart a little bit, but and there is just so much mud inside there that I'm off to Harbor Freight. Now a Kohler SH series 6.5 horsepower 196 cc online from Rural King is 200 and something but Harbor Freight has some in stock right now. There's one about 50 miles from where I live and it's $119 and I just called and they have some in stock. So I think that between all the mud that I'll probably never get out, the rusted exhaust manifold, the dirty gas tank, um, the stuck drive shaft, I can't even pull, like I said, I can't pull that can't figure out how to get that pin, that pin loose to pull that off, to pull this, even though I got this loose, as you can see, and I poured out some more dirt and water and oil, but I don't think it's worth my time to try to fix that when I can get a new motor for $119, and I should be able to mount it right back onto the... Uh, I should be able to mount it right back onto the log splitter and I should be able to attach the hydraulic portion right to the new drive shaft. Hopefully it has that. If not, I'll still have to figure out how to get that off. But anyway, I'm going to go get that and then I'll see if I can put it back together. Well, this is probably a phenomenal waste of time, but I took the engine apart. Now I've got the drive shaft back in here. I took the piston out and everything because it wasn't moving up and down in the cylinder. 
and I took 400 grit and 1,000 grit and cleaned out the cylinder a little bit. There was some rust in there. This is a camshaft, and I've got the timing marks lined up. I don't know if you can see that. Well, I spun it some, but anyway, those were lined up. And I didn't take this off. That's where the spark plug goes. I, I started to, but there's another bolt down in there that I would have to get to, and I would mess up this. I have no idea how this system works. I don't want to mess it up. The tappers or whatever, the valves are down under here. These little rods move up and down. These rods move up and down like they should. Um, I don't want to mess up, mess with the springs on the valves or anything, so I'm going to leave that. And I just blasted some carburetor cleaner through here. It's coming out through the air filter. Uh, because the problem is water in this part of the system. The problem is water in here. Water didn't get up to here because I think there was a vacuum or air in there. But um, water got into the gas tank and so it got into the fuel system. This got saturated and water got into here and into the OHV cover that goes right there. The overhead valve cover that goes right there. And then of course there was a bunch of water and mud and oil well it wasn't mud it was just dirty oil and water in there so that's all cleaned out um, should be hopefully good enough I disconnected the fuel line from the gas tank and now there's there's no water in there I should probably back spray that a little bit too with the carburetor cleaner really I don't have any idea what I'm doing so I'll see if this works. If it doesn't, I did buy a new motor at Harbor Freight, um, and I can put that onto the um, log splitter. But anyway, I took the muffler off, and I think it's hard to tell, but I, I should put a flashlight down in there. I thought I saw a glimpse of rust down inside there, which is, the valves are down in there. The spark plug goes here, the valves are here. This is where the air fuel mix ignites, pushes a piston down. Anyway, I, I don't know a whole lot about small engines. I don't okay, so trying to redo the old Kohler engine that was on here was unsuccessful. I can't get it to start. I'm not going to waste a lot more time on it. So I got this new engine, 2.2 cc, 6.5 horsepower Predator engine from Harbor Freight yesterday evening. It's pretty much the same engine. Uh, universal mounts on the deck and for the side shaft, which means it was relatively simple to attach the hydraulics, which is a closed system. Universal mounts is a closed system. So I just screwed those, bolted that uh, back onto the side of the motor and or engine. And hopefully my hydraulics will work. I didn't empty the hydraulic fluid yet. There's a drain plug in the bottom. Um, right now I'm just going to make sure that the motor works and I'll throw the handle and see what happens. Still burning off some lubrication probably from the manufacturing process but I am really really happy with that I shouldn't have wasted so much time turn off the fuel line I shouldn't have wasted so much time 
on the old engine because this was $119. It's also made in China just like the Kohler engine that I took off. It's got universal mounts. Um, it actually was surprisingly easy to take it off of the take it off of the uh, uh, frame of the log splitter. Disconnect where the drive shaft comes off the side into the hydraulic unit. And oh, look at that! I've got water in my hydraulic fluid. That's super cloudy, so I have to drain all of that out. But right now, I've just verified that the motor works and that I didn't destroy a very useful piece of equipment just out of poor planning, I guess. Anyway, thanks for watching the Garden of Odin. It would have been a lovely day to go to the Missouri Botanical Garden, but instead I salvaged something that I almost ruined, and that's almost as good. Thanks for watching. Bye.